morning guys today is the weekend and Ling Ling is back I really really hope my stomach will stay you know a little happy during the next few hours because I just received a text from my friends that they were going to an H&M sale and I actually decided yesterday that I would like to go today to H&M because my leggings they broke yesterday like literally broke there were two big holes and I couldn't not play with them so I just made them even bigger like yeah, it's impossible to wear them now anyway. Um, so yeah, I just want to get ready and then we should go to H&M for a Chinese sale. Like H&M is Scandinavian, right? It's Sweden. And I really love H&M because they have basic stuff, but they also have the Chinese style. Because I'm not a big fan of Chinese style in general, but they kind of mix it. So <clears throat> there are a lot of things I like as well. So that's just a, a great combination. Shout out for H&M. <laughs> Um, yeah, so let's get ready. Just uh, watching a little bit of YouTube over there, having my bananas, already had it, and my oatmeal. And yeah, just need to put some clothes on because I don't think I can wear the, the Just Smile Happy Rabbit. No, Just Smile Cute Rabbit t-shirt outside that would be awkward so yeah I should change to something a little more appropriate yeah so because you're my friends I want to tell you guys as well because I tell everyone I meet about this bag um, of course it's a fake because I don't I don't have money enough for buying expensive stuff but anyway I was working on the street last year and then I bumped into a small you would call it you could call it a market so a lot of old ladies and uh, Shushu's uncles uh, sitting on the road and on the street, the sidewalk, and selling stuff, different things. And one eye, she was selling this one. And I asked her how much, you know, I didn't really need it, but it was a nice bag. <laughs> and she said eight kwai. <laughs> so I bought this one for eight kwai, and I love it. I've been loving it for over a year. I don't know what this little thing is, but it's cute. Yeah, so. I was so excited and since then, as I said, I just tell all my friends about it because it's such a nice bag. I'm uh, gonna put it together with my black dress today because of course Danish people wear black. I try. I really try to be more colorful but I just feel so more comfortable in my black clothes. Yeah, I don't know. It's a bad habit. So, we got there. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, ma. Sigma. Is it okay? Yeah. I hope you guys say okay. I'm so happy right now because I don't feel the pain in my stomach. So if I'm overly excited, bear with me. That's just because of the stomach. Yes. Yeah. Okay, I should put on some makeup. And uh, yes, the VPN is out again. <laughs> Surprise. You know, couldn't it just be so much fun if it actually worked, the internet? Yeah, I was just thinking about it, you know, if you just wake up. You open up and then you just watch videos without problems. You upload without problems. It could be such a fun thing, right? Yeah. Yeah. Keep dreaming, girl. Keep dreaming. <laughs> I said to my Ruby that we've been lucky because the last few days it's been quite working. Um, so I've been able to watch stuff and I've also been able to upload two videos a day. Ooh. <laughs> yeah. Abroad it would take half an hour, here it takes like four or five hours for one video. But anyway, I just let it upload and then I go away and then me and my roomie, we both, if we're here, we just like move the, the screen, uh, the mouse a little bit on the screen and then it keeps uploading. So it's not that big of a deal, but anyway, I really uh, spend my money well on that MacBook or MacBook, MacBook Air. Yeah. I don't know. Don't blame me. I'm not sure. <laughs> So my friends and I are in a shopping area and of course we have to go and take a look in Miniso because they just arrived in China and they discovered the beauty of this uh, shop as well and afterwards we're gonna go to H&M so yeah. Come here Woo. We're just having a little discussion which one is cuter this one or that one. Atomisa says this one. I'm he's, more for this. He's one. clever. He's not just pretty. He's not just pretty. Kitty. Kitty. One great way to learn more Chinese is 
just go to stores where they don't translate into English and the original language is Japanese. So yeah, I'm just looking for an explanation and I understand it more if I look at the Chinese one than if I look at the Japanese one. Sorry. So I decided to buy this kind of cup because when I'm in class, it's impossible to get cold water. We only have hot water, like burning hot water. And I tried to bring a cup last time, but because it's open, it's going to be wet in my bag afterwards. So I don't like that. But this one's only 15 quite anyway. So yay, I'm so cute. I love to be cute here in China. My friends are going to bully me when I go home, but whatever. <laughs> now I'm just having fun. No, I totally get it. Drink water with this bottle three times a day, you will be nice. And also this one. Try not, do or do not, there is no try. <laughs> I totally get it. <laughs> okay guys, let's be honest here. Which one could I wear? <laughs> I'm definitely up for this one, but then again, nah. <laughs> wow, they all got a star on top. <laughs> Yeah, probably not gonna happen. H&M, coming! So, before going to H&M, we just bought a phone for our friend here. Yeah. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> her phone is like five years old, so it was a good idea. So this is Jenny, and did you you didn't buy a phone for, for five years? Yeah? Uh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so she's so excited now because this phone, you can lock it up with your finger, just a fingerprint on the side. <laughs> <laughs> this is like the day, the best day ever. <laughs> and uh, yeah, and the guy he just told us that if we want to uh, fix the phone, we yeah. can go to Russia and fix it. <laughs> or to France. Or France. Not Germany. Not Germany. Or Beijing. Of or, and then I said, can we go to Beijing? And he was like, yeah, you can go to Beijing yeah. too. And I was like, why would you mention Russia when we are in Beijing? But yeah, I even but said perhaps, we were not Russians. He just assumed we're, we're Russians. Russians. <laughs> or something. Just crossing the bridge so we can get to our destination on the other side. <clears throat> There's a party in Beijing. <laughs> in front of them all. We have no idea what's going on, you know. Maybe it's just a guy who really likes loud music from his really cool car and he parked in front of them all. But... Some Facebook or an advertisement, who knows. And we found one mall, but it was the wrong one. So now we're trying the other one, big square mall here. And they're having another advertisement thing outside vertical tournament. Not sure what that is about, but anyway, we're going in now. So let's go and have a look. We were totally at the wrong place. So we took an Uber to go to the right place. <laughs> Girls and directions. Oh my God. <laughs> That's almost a crime. <laughs> Okay, third, third shopping mall is the charm. <laughs> we finally found the H&M we were looking for and it says sale and look how pretty it is here. We got the big screen up here. I don't think it's on right now, but usually they have cute messages up there. You can send a text message to your boyfriend, girlfriend and everyone can read it, yay. <laughs> and now we are going in to spend our money. Are you girls ready? Yeah! yeah. <laughs> oh, oh, take care. Oh, yep, already found too many darlings, and yes, I'm very much looking forward to the winter. I know it's crazy, but I do. Of course, I spend too much money, but I feel I'm feel like I'm prepared for the winter to come now. <laughs> Oops, but yay. After shopping, we need some food, of course.